Hey guys, I'm Sean Saunders. I'm a PGA teaching professional and I'm an uh, American Council of Exercise personal trainer as well with Titleist Performance Institute certification. So, with that background, I do some, some things a little differently than a lot of pros uh, that teach the old-fashioned golf lesson. So that's why I'm here with uh, Fred Wolfer, my uh, client, and he's been working with me for the last year here and we've been doing, um, you know, the programs that we do at SWS Golf Academy. And so, Fred, uh, you know, I'm going to just ask a few questions. Uh, first of all, what is the perfect day of golf for you? Well, getting up in the morning and walking around vertically uh, is a good start. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot to be said about a hole-in-one and 300-yard drives, which I know are not really a reality at my age. But uh, I think a perfect golf day is to go out and enjoy the game, enjoy the scenery and uh, companionship, mm -hmm. and uh, just relax and have a good time and play the game as it's supposed to be played. Awesome. So what prompted you to come to me, you know, for golf instruction? Uh, you know, what, what, what really got you to make that? Oh, well, Shank started it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that does it. <laughs> I don't want to say that word. Yeah. Yes, word. Yeah. Um, I, I just was not improving. I was, tr I was working really hard. I was hitting like 500 golf balls a day, which I thought was the answer. It was not the answer. I was practicing wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, I was developing uh, bad habits really well. Mm -hmm. So I thought to myself, I really need some help. And I, I went to an instructor and uh, he let me hit three shots. They were pretty good. He said, there you go. He said, there, he said take it back inside. Do, and, and it was more of a band-aid than anything else. And when I went out and played the golf, I was all excited and went out and played and uh, did horrible. Mm -hmm. It just didn't work. Mm -hmm. Uh, there was something behind it that was not allowing me to hit the ball correctly. I didn't know what it was, so I went up to another pro. Mm -hmm. And so what mattered to you about golf instruction? Like, what, you know, deep down, what were you looking for? Honesty, mm -hmm. uh, number one, um, and somebody that really has a desire to help me. Mm -hmm. um, and whatever that takes. Yeah. So what would have happened if you didn't make a change, you know? Would you have stayed in the game, or do you think you would have? If I wouldn't have made a change, I'd have been not walking around vertically. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, because I was hurting myself. I pulled mm -hmm. a hamstring mm -hmm. uh, trying to hit the ball 300 yards, and I was doing everything incorrectly, but I practiced it, hitting it incorrectly. So um, I, I needed help. Mm -hmm. So. You know, how did you get started on improving? You know, coming to me, but how did you find me and why? You know? I actually looked on the internet and I saw a lot of good uh, comments. Uh, I did not know about the exercises or uh, TPI or any yeah. of that. That was a complete uh, mystery. Uh, but I did. Uh, I thought, well, with the comments, I thought, well, I'll give them a try. Yeah. So when well, I came to see you, and then uh, you helped me out there, and. Uh, you took a video, we were only out there for about five minutes, and you said, oh, this is really cool, I'm going to show you this. Yeah. And in my own mind, I thought it was Zach Johnson, and then when I came in and looked at the video, I thought, my gosh, that looks more like Quasimodo. Yeah. Uh, it was not a pretty picture. Yeah, yeah. So you, you came to me, you know, kind of knowing there was something a little different, you know, based on my background and things like that, but, uh, you know, what you found is there is a direct correlation between your body and your swing and and then the fact that you were getting injured while you were playing there's something going on there as well so well that was what was a, a real surprise to me because to be quite honest with you when we got to the exercise that was a, one of the first things we did was mm -hmm. the exercise and i thought oh boy you know, we're going to eat tea leaves and do heebie jeebie and take vitamin pills and that's going to fix my swing and <laughs> that was now <laughs> and but what you did prove to me, there was a direct correlation between that and hitting the golf ball properly. Mm -hmm. So what did you find was the most challenging part of that process that we started with the fitness and things like that? Just Erasing 50 years of doing it wrong. Exactly. Uh, yeah. And uh, I'm still having that problem. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's the muscle memory is a very strong thing. Mm -hmm. And to do something new, uh, and anytime you take instruction, you're going to go downhill for a while. Because you just have to expect that. There's no magic potion. You have to work at it and want it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think uh, my age of 72 years old, I, I don't have much time left and I really want it. Mm -hmm. And I'm willing to work hard to do that. So, and yeah. you've helped me a great deal in that. 
respect. Awesome. Well, and that's a big reason why uh, I'm going the direction I'm going with uh, SWS Golf Academy and the fitness part is to help my clients, especially my older clients that are you know late 50s, 60s, and 70s, uh, to get a few more years because by 2020. 50% uh, of golfers are projecting uh, are going to be the baby boomer generation. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. So if, if we don't do something to help uh, keep their golfing careers longer and enjo more enjoyable so they're not in pain, uh, experiencing, you know, they can stay on the golf course longer, well, that's going to help the overall golf industry and, uh, you know, as PGA professionals as well. Um, we want to continue to grow the game, but also I think it's important to keep people in the game longer. Well, and I agree. I think the PGA is on the right track, and uh, you have really been uh, wonderful to work with. I mean, the comments that I heard uh, were nothing but great, and I, I just did of that. Well, I appreciate it, Fred. It's been a pleasure working with you, and, and I'm looking forward to seeing more success with your body and your swing. Well, thanks. I appreciate that, Sean. I recommend this for anybody. Awesome. Maybe.